वेलकम बैक गाइस टुडे वी हैव अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एब्स्ट्रैक्ट ज्योमेट्री लुक इनसाइड ऑफ माया एंड द ग्रेट थिंग अबाउट दिस इज दैट यू कैन इंप्लीमेंट दिस सेम टेक्निक ऑन टू द अदर आइडियाज दैट यू हैव एज वेल दिस इज जस्ट सिंपली एक्सट्रूजन एंड चैम्फरिंग सम एजेस एंड पॉइंट्स टू क्रिएट अ कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रक्चर एंड देन जस्ट मैशिंग इट a couple of time to create some interesting look so let's start off by taking a simple primitive you can choose any primitive you want i'm going to start off by taking a simple plane and uh, let's decrease the segment on this uh, maybe 2 and 2 will be fine and i'm going to select the vertices on this and you can go to edit mesh and you'll find chamfer vertices that will just chamfer some vertices for you either you can also hold down shift and right click and chamfer so you get this kind of look now you can also choose to change the width of this if you want i'm going to keep it somewhere like this i think it looks nice and let's go to the face mode and select these faces hit extrude and scale them down and as you can see right now it's scaling all the faces together which we do not want we want all the edges to, all the faces to be extruded individually so we can turn this off which says key faces together by default it's set to on let's make this off and now if we use this you can also use offset and uh, i think this is looking quite nice and i'm going to just give a small depth to this just move this a little bit upside okay i think it looks good i'm going to extrude this one more time and extrude this downwards and i think it looks nice i'm going to just harden this Okay so I'm going to go over here and extrude this to and I'm going to hit either let's extrude this and then we can bevel this and if you don't know where the bevel is you can click on this icon you can also go to edit mesh bevel and I'm just here uh, randomizing uh, the extrusion and stuff nothing complex you can pretty much try this uh extrusion on your own try to extrude different kinds of stuff and so on So I think we have a decent amount of geometry going on. I'm just going to select a simple face, and I'm going to go to select, select similar, and as you can see, it just selects the similar faces that we have. And I'm going to extrude this, make this off, extrude this again, extrude this downwards. I think it looks nice. And let's again select this, go to select similar, and extrude this. Make sure this is off, and we can use the scale value on this. to kind of extrude this and we can also use divisions to create some more divisions into it and that will just help us to create more complex structure now i can simply go here and select this loop and i can again go to select and select similar that will just select the whole loop for me as you can see and i can extrude this again and give a little bit of depth to the overall scene now as you can see we have a nice little scene going on now i'm going to do a little bit of shading on this uh it totally depends on you what kind of shading you are going for what we can do here is we can go to the face mode and as you can see we already have these faces selected i can simply go to the assign new material right click on this arnold stand surface and let's go to the material over here let's call this emission material and i'm going to turn off the diffuse the specular and uh, simply go to the emission let's make the emission one maybe 3 and maybe we can give a simply blue color to this all right and uh, i'm going to select uh, simply you can hit control shift i that will just invert the overall selection and you can i think you can also go to select and inverse yes control shift i there you go and we can give another material to this let's go to stand surface and let's call this chrome and you can also choose a preset from here which says chrome that will just do the overall job for you and yeah there you have so the reason i have shaded this before instead of shading it in the end is because we don't want to do a couple of cloning and then shade everything again and again so now i can pretty much go to the mesh create a mesh network out of this and in the distribute which creates a uh, kind of a number of points of this i'm going to decrease the number of points to somewhere like maybe 4 and the distribution is type is set to linear which is just moving the all the clones on the one direction so you can change this instead of x and y and the linear distribution to grid and that will just give us the grid 
now let's move this distance and i don't think we need that many clones of this all right let's uh, so we don't have anything on the y if you want you can increase the number of clones you have on the y and the distance then you will have this but i don't know why we'll use this it's not necessary for this type of abstract look so let's bring this right over here and i think 12 will do the job sorry and 20 so let's go to the top view just so we we can see how close they are and let's go to the mash repo make sure you said uh, use gpu if you have a good gpu and distribute let's change this to so i think 22 is 21.9 maybe yeah and this will be again let's see right over here i think 11 yeah or maybe 10.9 but i'm going to keep it like that just so and you can increase the number of uh, clones you have but again you have to manage this again and again so make sure you're doing this one time not again and again all right so i'm going to turn off the grid just so we have a cleaner look going on and i can go to the annulled and ipr and i've already an hdri set up just so we have a simple lighting but you can use any hdri or simple directional light if you want you can find any amount of hdri on google uh, so i'm not going to get into the whole overall lighting part now uh, let's take a simple camera i'm going to select my camera here and uh, let's create this look and i think uh, this is good enough just so we have a concentration in the middle i'm going to lock my camera and let's go to the perspective okay so we have a really nice um scene set up here let's select our camera over here and there we go i'm going to disable my hdri mm, let's go over here and yeah so as you can see we have just these lights and nothing at all in the overall scene so i'm going to select a directional light and let's move this up let's pause this and let's rotate this to something like this and uh, the intensity on this is too low and the chrome material is kind of absorbing all the light so i'm going to keep it to two and let's update the overall scene and maybe i do have to change the material from chrome to something more that can kind of bounce off the overall light maybe ceramic yeah and let's try jade okay uh actually we have we are changing on the emission material my bad my bad uh sorry gold mm, i think it's looking pretty good we can also use brush material yeah this looks nice so let's uh, go over to creating the final overall design which will be one element in the middle so i'm going to go to my polygon modeling select a platonic you can use any primitive that you want i'm going to use a platonic and let's make the radius to 1.5 let's use the camera for this and um, maybe i'm going to change the overall camera look to somewhere like this okay let's lock this now and i'm going to choose maybe dodecahedron and uh, we can use tries and i think quad looks much better let's keep it like this and uh, let's increase the scale on this and from here i'm going to just get into the normal uh, extrusion of this so i'm going to extrude this keep faces together off and this is just uh, i'm randomizing the overall extrusion nothing is like there is no right and wrong in this you can play around with different types of technique on your own and again i'm going to go to select similar and extrude this one more time and maybe right click on this and you can make this circular component and uh, sorry actually this i think this will work on this Mm, no so i'm going to select so let's select one face let's go to select similar and you can do a couple of more extrusion as well so i'm going to extrude this one more time all right let's scale this down 
let's do this scale this down okay I think it looks good and I'm just going to select one loop of this face as you can see one loop and I'm going to go to select similar and extrude this key faces together off scale this down I think we need more scaling and extrude this one more time on the inside and then you can simply give it an emission material and uh, you can also use Control shift i again Control shift i no object match extrusion stay okay select this select similar Control shift i and let's assign a new material and surface let's call this ob and let's use copper for this I don't know why we are getting this error All right, there you go so now it has been set I'm also going to be using some vertices to create some randomized looks so let's chamfer this change the overall width on this and again select one face select similar extrude this on the inside and I think I'm going to give it a new material and let's call this emission 2 let's use incandescent bulb and uh, change the color to something like maybe red style okay so let's see how this overall scene is looking so far all right so it looks pretty good and I'm going to select this emission and I think I'm going to increase the emission amount on this to somewhere like 5 and uh, yeah let's run okay so we can pretty much change around the overall material we have I'm not going to get into the material that will just make the video even more longer but you can use preset and I suggest highly that you use or you can build your own material and but yeah all right So let's keep it like a balloon maybe and we can make it a kind of a rough balloon. I think we can change the amount of coat on this four and uh, also the emission on this is I think the other emission yeah too low. I'm going to set it to five as well and maybe change the color of this to something like a darker blue maybe yeah i think uh, the orange is looking pretty nice okay so let's keep it like that uh, so this is the overall look we have we can also make this interesting we can delete this direction light we don't have any light on the scene now and uh, let's close this for now let's take an area light let's bring this out let's scale this up and let's rotate this something like this and uh, I'm going to increase the exposure amount to maybe like two for now and let's go to the render settings and I'm going to go to the environment atmosphere yeah atmosphere volume let's make the density 2.100 let's run the IPR so we know what we are doing and uh, the anostrophy on this will be somewhere like 0.6 if you don't know how to work with atmosphere volume I've already made a video on this make sure you watch it so you get a complete understanding how you can use this and I'm going to select my light let's go something like 6 and maybe 8 and let's use a color temperature to make this kind of a cooler look I think I'm not going to use the temperature I'm going to go with something like this yeah. so you can use multiple lights to create that kind of look that you are going for and I think it looks pretty nice I'm going to go to my brush material here the brushed metal and uh, I think it was this and I'm just going to decrease the amount of sorry roughness on this maybe like 0.100 and the metalness will be 0.9 all right now we see some reflections going on which is quite nice so as you can see we didn't that much create more complex structure but we can create more extrusion with this it totally depends on you 
but yeah, for the video purpose, I kept it pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, I think I'm going to go to this material and let's turn on the turn off the opaque and maybe in the OP object, I'm going to select a simple glass. Okay, and that will just give us a glass material. And inside of that glass, I can put a simple sphere. And that will be a mesh light. Let's make it light visible. Visible, sorry. And uh, let's keep it four. Let's decrease the amount of scale we have on this. Something like this. And maybe use a color temperature on this one. So I think I'm going to change the emission material to something like uh, maybe a copper and I think we have to keep that emission since it is linked to the other brushed material but I think that's okay. So this is what our scene is looking right now. So as you saw this is like completely randomized stuff. There is like no right and wrong. This is just playing around with different types of technique and volumes. Maybe play around with the, instead of this, let's take a diamond and you'll get that refraction value as well. So I'm going to decrease the refraction on this maybe to five. So we have less uh, dispersion going on. I think glass was looking quite good with this. You can also use frosted glass. I think that is also giving us quite good look. And let's keep it to glass and turn this off again. And from here, I just keep on doing extrusions and so on. I can select one piece. I can go to select similar and from here I can just pretty much extrude this and then again select some loop, select similar, extrude this, turn this off, change the offset on this and do extrusion and maybe bring this up and then bevel this out and then you can simply sorry select similar extrude this one more time keep faces together off change the offset on this something like this extrude this one more time bring this down change it to the bevel and you can use this as a light source as well so we can go to select similar and we can add a new material to this you can go to stand surface and you can use an incandescent bulb and the emission will be somewhere like 10. So let's go to the panel camera, Arnold IPR. So now as you can see, we have created more complex looking structure. So play around with this. Uh, I highly suggest uh, giving more time to your modeling part to make this even more complex structure than it looks right now. It's pretty simple right now for the video purpose, but make sure you create more complex extrusion with this, try beveling and chamfering different kinds of edges and so on and this will just help you create this kind of abstract look so i think the overall design is pretty interesting on this so again i hope you like the video if you have any question or doubt feel free to ask me uh, i don't know if you are into this abstract kind of look i really like this kind of designs so i hope you enjoyed this video again if you have any suggestion for the next one feel free to mention it in the comment section below and thank you for watching